Let's talk about our digital radio runout gauge. And real quickly, right up here is an access. Uh, there's a bat it's battery operated. And the battery comes with it. So immediately when you turn it on, you receive it. It should power right up. So, and when you do purchase that, it does come with an extra battery. So let's touch on some of the features. It's a digital radio rhino gauge. We have our plunger. We have our on off button. Kind of cool feature here is I can read this in inches, North American inches, or I can push a button and I can have millimeter. And our far button is our zero gauge. So when we read this, the real key important thing here is this decimal point. Okay, so I'm going to depress this and move this over here so I can see it a little bit. So I'm going to push the plunger in and we're going to pay attention to our far right two numbers. So as I push this in, we'll see how well I can control it. So there's five, there's 13 thousandths, there's 26 thousandths, there's 49 thousandths, 70. Ah, all right, so now I have 1.15, so that is 115 thousandths. So let's just keep pushing the plunger up. There's 1.59, 8, okay, 2.05, 205 thousandths. So at this point, once I set this, try to hold this here, let's see here, okay, I want to zero it out, so I'm going to push my zero gauge, 0, 0.00. .00. That's how I zero it out. So, pretty versatile, pretty easy gauge to read. So, let me turn this thing off. All right, so let's look at our little uh, diagram up here. So, 0, 0.00. So, as I'm pushing up the plunger, visualize kind of a needle in your head going around. So, as I go around, we're pushing our plunger up, and I hit here, that's halfway, 50 thousandths. So what you're going to see here is 0 0.50. Okay, so let's keep pushing our plunger up and we'll continue all the way around. We made a full circle, so for what? 100,000. So what we're going to see here is 1.00. So as we keep going around, the numbers will increase to 300, 400,000. Pretty easy gauge to read and use.